ball is in the air. Another spectacular scene in prime time on a Friday evening. Cougs are trying to right the ship. They've lost three straight. Trying to get closer to bowl eligibility. He's over. Spells five wins. They turn it over more than that, and it, uh, it spells trouble. BYU won the toss and deferred. Pirates get it first, making the long trek across the country. Plays for the BYU defense. On third down and long time for Ehlers. Into the flats. And a short gain is going to bring the punt team on the field for ECU. Ryan Jones, the tight end, corralled it. A gain of... Though ...that loves the contact. How many touches you like tonight for uh, Nakua? He's, he's going over 20 tonight. I'm... I'm guessing. Toa picks up a first down, rumbles into ECU territory. Stopped at the 46, a gain of eight. In that kind of production, it might happen in the first half, he may be at 20. He is built for it at 6'1", 210 pounds. This is an experienced offensive line. They got a couple of really good ones. The left tackle, Blake Freeland. Let's see what they do here on third down, but it's, I, I think, definitely four down territory. I mean, he gave us a great quote on that. We asked about analytics. He's not shy about it. He, and he said, I, I'm not really paying attention to that. I was going for it on fourth down before anybody was playing Madden back in the day. Third down here. Miles Davis gets the handoff, and Davis will be stopped short. It'll be fourth and a long two after a two-yard gain. Chance Bates met him near the line of scrimmage that time. A nice job of penetration by the smaller defensive front of East Carolina. And you wonder, can they hang Can they hang in there for and allowing East Carolina substitutions to get in and on the field as BYU did bring in some subs. So just kind of holding play. Pressure off the edge, handled by the Cougars in the deep ball. In zone, contact, and a penalty marker flies. Keanu held the intended receiver, Washington. Started his career as a wide receiver a couple of years ago. Third down and five, Cooks in the red zone. Hall fires a pass that is high for Puka Nakua. It's not had the kind of season he expected, five of 10 in the field goal department. This attempt from 36, and he throws it. BYU strikes first, 36 yard field goal. Those balls with man, he rips it. I think the one word we heard more than any other this week describing Ehlers. Mitchell's going to get to the edge. That's been an issue for BYU. And he's got a first down, a gain of 11. Toughness. Ehlers just has seemingly battled through injuries this season. In pre Coming from the Death Star, perhaps. Second down and 10 in BYU territory. The handoff to Mitchell. Gets to the edge again. Big yards again. Tumbles out close to a first down. Trainers were working on C.J. Johnson's right ankle. Looks better than initially appears. And I'll tell you that size, the more you can do. Mitchell with a wide open gap. Mitchell to the pylon and a touchdown. Well, the speed of Keaton Mitchell from 31 yards out in the pylon. And it wears out defenses. And Keaton Mitchell certainly has exactly that nice job up front by avery jones and a season before tonight that's carry number 13. the pirates have their first lead well, he is having to shoulder more than runs for byu jaron hall starts tonight 0 for 2. there's pressure right through the a gap delay blitz and the ball incomplete near the 30 yard line jeremy lewis applied the pressure well, he took a shot and i mean he Got a running start on Jaron Hall and did not slow down. He went right through him. Gonna come in off the right side. And I'm a player when you get hit at the plate, you know, don't rub it. That's what you're trying not to do as a quarterback when you get up after a shot like that. Malik Fleming from the 18. No fair catch, waiting on the convoy. Gets to the edge, Fleming. And a big time special teams play by ECU. And no flags. Fun of 55, a return of 27, Andre. Pretty much empty. He can run quarterback draw right here. Feels like that. Not this time, he'll throw it. Easy pitch and catch. Oh, he dropped it. It was dropped by Gunn, the freshman. Uh, I think they had, well, they didn't make their minds up to go for it on fourth down across the 50. Cold weather drifting in. And some snow fall down to ground last week. On third down, big play here for Hall. Nakua has it, that'll move the sticks. Well, Hall showing some experience there and knowledge of the offense. That's about the third on this roster. Third down and three. Empty backfield for Hall. 
Sacked from the backside. Flag flies, ball pops out. Chad Stevens got there in a hurry. And it is East Carolina football. Let's see what the penalty looks like. Wow. And it looks like it's offsides. How a guy got there that fast and it seemed to be unblocked. <laughs> Stevens, that might explain it if it's offsides. Offside, number 11, defense. Five yard penalty results in a first down. Just to lined up Jeremy Lewis in the neutral zone. Oh, yeah, well, clearly. Think about this first quarter. Two enormous East Carolina penalties. One led to the three points on fourth in the first quarter. From a quarterback's perspective, your leading rusher not playing tonight, your leading receiver. That's a big deal. Tough. Really tough. For BYU. Late hands off in a big game. Off and running. All the way down to the 31 yard line. Lopini Katoa. Excellent block by Connor Pay to open things up. The center just kind of caves down the defensive tackle in Elijah Morris. And all of a sudden, look, Katoa is off to the races, picks up the penalty yardage, moves the chains along with it, and a first, the first. Katoa in the backfield. It's that four man front for the Pirates. Pressure off the edge. And Katoa's going to race for the first down and out for to the end zone. Touchdown, Cougars. And Jeremy Lewis missed a tack. Your guy, Keanu Hill, with the great block to help spring him free. Well, you got to have somebody to do the dirty work on the outside, but when Lewis misses the, misses the tackle, all of a sudden Katoa is downhill. That's his style on the second and third level of the defense. Andre, it felt like a get-right drive for the Cougars. 92-yard touchdown march. And BYU back in front, 10 to 7. Back and already out of this one. Aylers will step up. Lefty delivers. That's a strike and a first down. Hatfield has it. Still on his feet. Hatfield corral for behind inside the 25. And a gain of 52. And Josai Hatfield, certainly a weapon in this East Carolina offense. They've been looking for ways to get him unleashed. And finally, a big play, an explosive play to get on your heels, rather, if you're on the defensive side of it. Those heels, it's Halloween, it goes. <laughs> Mitchell against the grain. Mitchell, there's the speed and another first down. Well, when they had both Mitchell and Harris, and I'll continue to say it, the first and goal. Keep feeding them. Mitchell, this time, counters some traffic at the line. Mangles it. Mitchell probing, stacked up again. Mangles had met him. Lost. Time for Aylers. Nobody home. Well, the backside pressure was sneaking up behind him. He sensed that, delivered the football. 23-yard field goal attempt for Conrad, who took over for Daffer two weeks ago. And he drills it to tie us up at 10 points apiece. 9-15 been active this season. Third down and 10. Hall, the quick release. Nakua has it to spin in the first down. How nifty was that? On third and 10, he'll gain 14. Hall's going to take off. Hall, all kinds of real estate. And a first down. Slides in safely near midfield. That's a chain mover. Because everything else is taken care of except the quarterback. Just now getting over that AC sprain on first down. Hall's going to take off again. Hall in the ECU territory. To the edge. That's a first down. Hall ushered out inside the 30. Good blocking again for number one for the Cougars, Keanu Hill. A nice job on the edges by Hill. When the quarterback breaks contain, you got to pick up somebody on the outside. He comes in. Just a little bit of a shield, not a knockout block, but block to avoid the potential penalty on the blind side block yeah, was critical. Is, yeah, get a defender to freeze, thinking he's going to get hit, and you've done your job. All with time. Has it been open? The touchdown! Fourth. 
on the back end, a miscommunication and a bust in the secondary. We scoring fest going on, don't we? A fun start in Provo. Now Puka Nakua story in nature. Got to study the of game. The game. You have to. I tell youngsters all the time, know who played it before you. Youngsters, you mean me? Is Hatfield a nice cut? Loss of football. And I believe the Pirates jumped on it near the 32. That could have been disaster. Harper forced the fumble. That was Micah Harper. Jarred it loose. And the Pirates, boy, just fortunate to get it back. And a pretty good tackle. And you were talking about luck. Approaching five to go in the first, second down and seven, Ehlers. Hand off to Mitchell, cuts it back. There goes Mitchell into BYU territory. Mitchell getting it done. That run for 35, he's over 100 yards already on the ground. What amazing because he just gets lost in the clutter and then all of a sudden he's out the back door and it's a foot race to the end zone. What a talent Keaton Mitchell is. Pirates quickly back to the line. The swing pass Ryan Jones. And Jones upended near the 20. Close to another first down. And this, this game is filled with talented tight ends. All of you quarterbacks love tight ends and offensive tackles. <laughs> I've learned that over the years. Marlon Gunn, the running back. Second down and short. Ehlers is going to keep it. Little RPO. The flip caught. That's a first down. C.J. Johnson. How about that play? A lot happened. That will count as a forward pass to Johnson. You said it. First and goal. Gun motions out. Ehlers goes ahead. And Ehlers the spin towards the goal line. Close. Stop just short. They'd give you one, and you knew exactly where they were going. That's just playing a lot of snaps together. Hand off on second and goal, and I don't think so. Now, well, Mitchell was stopped. Remember, ECU had it first and goal moments ago, and they were stymied. Yeah, from the five, first and goal, and had to take a field goal. And this is where being big and powerful comes in. Baylor's thinking about it. Straight ahead, Holton Ehlers for the score. That could be defined as on the move. And Ehlers with that 6'4", 230 pound frame that you guys were just talking about is able to get himself into the end zone. Had a nice run to get it down there, might as well let him finish it off. And he did it that time on the ground. Grew up in Greenville. Here on the road in Provo, almost 2,000 miles away, has his team tied with BYU. Offense on third down so far for BYU. He is, he started the game on fire. Yeah, he carries 72 yards. He'll get a couple of more here. Did he reach the line to gain in the initial mark? Just short. Now, Miles Berry, Gerard Stringer. You know Kalani Sataki, the head coach, loves out their own 20. Imagine Gunn will get another touch. No play action. The swing pass off the screen. That'll be a chain mover. And C.J. Johnson picks up the first down. Real quick on the playoff predictor. We have Tennessee over Alabama. Yeah, pretty special. Yeah, pretty good one there. ECU will let the clock run out. A very entertaining first half in the books at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. Tied it. Kick off to start the third quarter. Hobbs Nyberg back deep to receive. Fuchs will get the first crack at it. And out to the 25 as we check in with Paul Carcaterra. Well, I just caught up. Pretty good at that. <laughs> You're well on your way. That's a great, great idea for you. He gets grumpy in a hurry. He sometimes. does get grumpy. Kua in motion. He'll get the swing pass. Another touch for number 12. And that's a first down. Tripped up crossing the 40, 11 more on the slate for Puka Nakua. Well, they're going to single mid-range game opened up a little bit. Miles Davis, the running back on second and eight. 
tie ball game. Critical game for both sides and thinking about the postseason. Potential goals. Big game. And that's going to be Cosper. His first reception. Oh, guys down the field. They haven't just been open. They have been wide open. Now you can feel his rhythm up here in our broadcast position. Cosper's going to have a first down. He caught his first touchdown against Wyoming earlier in the year. And Analytics would tell you to go for it on fourth down if it's fourth and four or less. Give him the lead having the field goal made here in this opening drive of the second half. I feel which way you're leaning already. Ball's going to be flush. It's been effective on the ground. How about the cut? How about a first down? Shot down near the 10. Don't have to think about it when you. Did you like having more yardage in a first and goal situation or less? I mean, obviously you want to be inside the one, but first and goal from the 10. A little different. Hand off to Toa. To Toa. Kept the play alive. Tripped up just short of the goal line. An eight-yard gain. Miles Berry somehow already two touchdowns. One touchdown tonight. Looking for two. Instead, it's the swing pass. Chase Roberts reaches the end zone. Second touchdown of the season. The redshirt freshman from Highland, Utah. They've been waiting on him to break out. 6'4", 200 pounds. The redshirt freshman. And giving him one in the flat hey just see what you can do with it everybody over pursues he you two early touchdowns then went ice cold a different start and perhaps finish this evening three touchdowns in their last four possessions how about Chase? 12 and white can make plays a senior it's what you expect mitchell can as well that's another first down spun wow. down near the 44. A great deal of success going along that road. Feels like BYU has been better in terms of tackling so far tonight. ECU obviously putting up yards and points, but that was a focal point the last two weeks in practice. Baylor's first down and a lot more. C.J. Johnson stop crossing the 30, a gain of 27. And high school teammates hooking up once again. Yeah, nice job of mixing the run with the pass. We saw Mitchell on a couple of runs. And just to make sure that BYU is honest on defense. Johnson left the field for a few plays in the first half, appeared to be banged up, and then was deemed to be okay. Stay with the hot hand, Mitchell, right up the gut, and he'll bounce it outside again. First down and goal for ECU. It was so dangerous, one of the fastest guys on the team, and when he gets to the second level, look out, because he's got home run ability, they've done a nice job of just kind of finding players to block. They get the breather, 14 carries, 146 yards and a touchdown. Marlon Gunn checks in. And it's Gunn with a full head of steam. Still driving. Out near the four. The one thing I'm telling Gunn when he comes into the huddle. Baylor's wants the end zone. They don't get there. I think that was run all the way. Just the way he sets up. He's letting everybody clear out and then all the way. Baylor's just lets everybody set. The zone drops. Everybody goes to a spot. And then all of a sudden, he's right up the gut and into the end zone. And he keeps saying it and from giving these tennis references, but ECU holding serve. I like it. I think we're getting close to the critical moments, obviously. Just like that, we're tied at 24. A little Wild West shootout. And straight ahead goes Hall, and that should easily. I lulled him to sleep. Move the chains. And it looked like he was giving instruction to the offensive line and just put his hands right under combat. It would certainly take the orange after last week's big fight with, uh, with your alma mater in Clemson. And a tough call. Put about this hit out of bounds, change that game on second down. Enough to move the chains once again for Lopini Katoa. Stadium in our second conversation with Kalen DeBoer. Great job he's done with Michael Penix. Out of the entry timeout. First down screen pass caught and ahead into ECU territory and a lot more. Buka Nakua, reception number six. He puts the schedule. That's exactly what they'll do. Bounce through the line and another first down. 
Gain of 13. When he hit it. When he hits a hole, he hits it big time. Excellent block up front by Clark Barry. They found a nice one-two punch, and they complement one another well, which is exactly why they put up and put up 24 points so far. Kua goes in motion. Katoa the handoff. And another big hole. And a first down for the Cougars. The tackle by Barry. Looks like it was scripted. So. Spread out where he can run it here if he elects to. Middle of the field wide open. Hall, quick delivery. Low pass caught. Short of the line to gain was Hill. The stop by Wood. They will, in fact, go for it. Miles Davis, the running back. Seven in the box. Davis straight ahead. He'll try to push the pile. He was met by Bates, and he is nowhere close. Chance Bates has been everywhere tonight for ECU. ECU finally breaking serve. And I mean, I don't think he got a half yard, let alone close to the first down marker. Excellent. Good game tonight as well for Josiah Hatfield. Second and short. And the first down for Mitchell. Tuck down crossing the 30. Ben Bywater no, got to him. Man, it's Again, Mitchell. Quick burst. Another long game. He'll be right at 10 yards. They're going to give him the first down. Johnson settles in. Ehlers escapes. Has a man wide open. It's Winstead. That's a first down. Stopped at the 24 and a gain of 28 yards. Finding a way to get open. Saw that Ehlers didn't have anywhere to go. Broke his route off. Sat down in an open area. Timeout for an injury. We have an injured. What it was, but he was the injured player for BYU. First down for the Pirates. Trying to reclaim the advantage. Approaching 11 minutes to go in our fourth quarter. Wide open near the goal line. Did he get a foot down? Well, the arm angles and body position in which Ehlers. It looks like both, both feet are airborne, and then the right foot comes down first out of bounds. I agree. Looking on third down and 11. Empty backfield, Ehlers. Slant pattern incomplete. Pass was broken up, looking for Shane Calhoun. And the coverage by 42-yard field goal attempt for Andrew Conrad. Four for five this season. And plenty of distance, but it is no good. Wide right. Wood helped off the field. Second and short. And Bates makes the stop against Katoa. It's enough for a first down. And the drive continues for the Cougars. It's a to do that. So instead of first and 10 in ECU territory, third down and 11, the ball moved all the way back to the 34 of BYU. All wants to throw it. And he will. Pass caught near the 44. And short of the first down by less than a yard. Sataki won't hesitate to go for it. Remember, they ran quarterback sneak here last time. 0 for 1 on fourth down tonight. Quick snap, and I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. Maybe just short. Not a favorable spot for BYU. And the snap happened so quickly, and East Carolina was ready for it. They had to get to the 45, Roy, and I think it's going to be 44 and three quarters. Field means everything, correct? Absolutely, and I agree with Andre. Unless there's a view from the other side of the field, I don't think they're going to be able to do a thing with this replay. After a three-yard gain, it's second down. Time for Ehlers. Crosser is there. Mitchell made a couple of defenders miss, and that's a first down. Uh, nice job. They're going to call a late hit, and this could be targeting, and Mitchell still... A little slow to get up. Finally, a couple of teammates help him up, but this this is definitely a late hit. It's going to give him another 15 and maybe targeting to go with it. Mitchell. It's a heck of a job of setting up the two defenders, and then splits them to pick up the first. 
personal foul. Targeting. Number 20. Defense. That play is under further review. Jacob Boren will bring in Matt Austin. Seem like you targeting with the crown of the helmet is confirmed. Number 20 is disqualified. It's a 15 yard penalty. First down. So Jacob Boren. Big one here on third down. Mitchell. Push back. Forward progress will stop him short. Micah Harper, an enormous play for the BYU defense. Yeah, showed his youth there. He's trying to bounce just about. He's had a great deal of success bouncing the ball outside. Some runs when they're for short, short yardage, and you got to pick up a first. On two fourth downs, he might kick it here, especially on the road. Ehlers, Mitchell, only needed about a yard, and I don't know. It's going to be close. I think he's got it. Peely and Halls. It's going to be really close. BYU will get it back. The defense stands tall. Sometimes. Not that we want to. Third down and two. Exactly. Hall wants to throw it. Play action. Incomplete looking. For Mason Wake again, and that'll bring up fourth down. We've seen BYU go for it in situations like this before. I got to believe Kalani Satak is certainly going to punt the football right here. I'm going to take your word for it. We'll see. We've seen fakes on the layup line in basketball. <laughs> this guy just making layups, and all of a sudden it came to a screeching halt. Malik Fleming back deep to receive the Rico punt. BYU bounce inside the 40. And whistle dead. Season come down to a game winning kick. Overtime win against Memphis. Navy game came down to some late heroics for the midshipman. Winstead close to a first down. And he's going to have it. And that will move the sticks. The tackle by Robinson. Gunn remains on the field. Mitchell on the sideline. Freshman running back again, has a first down, stopped at the 38. I'm Holt Naylor's, I'm still telling him. Crowded area, protect the football. It's loud. On third and 10, Naylor's crosser. Well short of the line to gain is C.J. Johnson. Two yard pickup on third and 10, Robinson the tackle. Excellent job. On the back end. Pirates with two timeouts remaining. Gun motions out. There's a snap. Ehlers looking deep. Double coverage. Incomplete. Penalty marker flies in late. Oh, an interference call is going to bail out East Carolina. That's an interference, number 18. Defense. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Caleb Hayes. Wow. Oregon State transfer. There were three defenders in the area around Winston. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got it. You got some pulling and yanking. Easy call. Easy call. Easy call. Wrap, left hand wrapped around the waist, all of it. And help yourself. Out of the timeout, second and eight. Hand off again, up the middle, and a couple of more yards. Getting the ball back. In the yeah. To come on the road, they're going to spin the second one. BYU, the third and final of the half. The freshman kicker steps into it. It's low. And it's good. East Carolina finds a way. Doesn't matter how it looks, only the result. It was indeed low, as you called, but just enough to get it over the crossbar and through. And East Carolina comes on the road to Provo, Utah, and pulls a 27-24 win out of their hat. Holton Ehlers, tremendous.